Hey guys! Okay, I'm here today with a haul video, and if you watched my most recent Get Ready With Me, you may be thinking, I thought you said no more hauls. What I meant was, I'm not going to start saving stuff for like a month and do a collective haul. There's nothing wrong with it, it's just not, I don't know, I don't enjoy doing them. But if I have a concentrated, like, I went to Sephora and chopped the VIB sale haul, then I'll film it. Or I had an Ulta 20% off coupon, I'll film it. Those, like, specific hauls to me are a little more fun. So let's get started. First off, I will start with what I picked up from the Sephora VIB Rouge sale last weekend. You are seeing this. I'm filming this on Thursday. If I can get my act together, I'm making it up tonight so you can watch it before it starts for VIB and BI next weekend or tomorrow. Um, as you all know, it's only 15% off in the spring if you're a VIB. If you're just general beauty insider, it's only 10 It's not a great big sell. It's not like, let me go buy everything in the store. But if you have something that you need to pick up, it's a good time to get it instead of waiting till next month. If you want to wait and see if that brand has a better sell, wait for that. You do you. So, let's get started. The first item I picked up was like the really the main thing I wanted and it was brand new it's a limited edition kit so to me I wanted to pick it up when I could get 15% off because I don't know if it'll be around any other time for another sale and it's the drunk elephant acid trip kit I've already opened it up and taken out the pretty packaging but it came with the best not the best but the stuff I wanted the most well it came with a mini TLC framboose glycolic night serum this is a half size Mine that I picked up in November, I still have some, but I know it won't make me last till November, so I wanted to get some now, so I figured I would get, I was going to get the full size, which was the price of this kit, but I got all the other stuff too, so it was a good deal to me. So I got that. It came with the C Firm A Day Serum, which is a really good vitamin C serum. I do like the Ola Henriksen, Ola Henriksen Truth Serum a little bit more, plus it smells nicer, but this one's still very good. And then it came with a small size of the baby facial, which I was wanting to pick up in the sale as well. I tried a sample of it, and it was very interesting. I had thoughts on it, so I was really excited to get to try the small size. And then it came with a little mini of the Virgin Marula Oil, which is nice to put on after the baby facial. And I've used up a full size of this before, and it's a good facial. So, cute little box. And then also I picked up the full size of the Hydra Intensive um, Gel because if you can mix all their products together, but if you mix it with the C Firma in the morning, it is so nice on your skin. It makes your skin feel so just like plump, not greasy or anything. This by itself isn't my favorite, but I thought it would be a really good mixer to mix in with other serums to just kind of like boost the moisture. Okay, and then also in store when I went, I got two other things. I mean, I definitely, you know, bought plenty, but I didn't go crazy. This was something I was wanting to pick up for a while. It's the Kristoff Robin um, Sea Salt Scrub for your scalp. I got the mini size because I used to use the Lush version, Lush Big, which is kind of similar, and I absolutely love it. Every time I would use it, I could just notice a difference in my hair. So I thought I would give this a try to um, test out and see how it compares to the Lush. It's a very like fresh, slightly citrusy scent. I haven't tried it yet, I keep forgetting, but I've tried a lot of the stuff that I'm gonna show you so I can kind of give you a first impression. And then I saw this, this was so like just brand new. It's the Sephora brand Watermelon After Sun Sheet Mask. It comes with one for your face, one for your decollete, if you can see. And it was the same price as all the others. I think the Sephora sheet masks, they're fine. But I stuck this in my fridge so it's cold. I thought it would be so nice if, you know, because sometimes you get a little more sun than you really want or anticipated. So I'm anxious to try that this summer. And then I did place an order online. Well, I placed three orders for only three products. As soon as this came out, I know, well, once the sale started, it's very expensive for what it is. It's the Sol de Janeiro Boom Boom Line Bath Bomb. I had to try it. I haven't tried it yet. I'm waiting for like a weekend when I can really enjoy my bath with a glass of wine. I'm on antibiotics right now because me and my older daughter had strep throat over the weekend and early week. So I don't want to, you know, negate my antibiotics. So anyways, here we are. Okay. Also, I caved and got the Tarte Hair Goals Dry Shampoo. 
I'm almost out of my current dry shampoo and I have a little bit of the Elizabeth and James Nirvana Black, but to me that's not an everyday dry shampoo. So I thought I would go ahead and pick this up since, you know, I don't like spending a lot on dry shampoo, but if I can get it marked down, then I will get it. But otherwise, I'll just, you know, get something cheaper, no big deal. And I tested this out. That's one reason I actually didn't wash my hair yet because I wanted to test this out. It does leave, it is white, but I put it in my hair and it's not visible. A tip with dry shampoo, if you know you're not going to be washing your hair, put it in at night and let it soak up. And then in the morning, you just brush it out and there's no white cast. Works well. Um, the scent's just kind of like a fresh scent like a lot of dry shampoos have. So far, so good. And then I did cave into the hype. And I picked up the Summer Fridays Jet Lag Mask. This is an overnight moisturizing mask like most of those overnight ones are and I never like those so I, I don't know why the hype got me on this one but I've used it the past two nights and so far I really like it it's really it like when I woke up my skin just felt kind of like glowy and dewy and moisturized not parched or greasy or anything it just it felt really nice so obviously I've only used it twice, but I enjoyed it both times so I can see why people do enjoy these overnight masks. I thought it would be nice and especially, you know, after like I do the baby facial. So, so far I'm impressed. Okay, and that's what I picked up from Sephora. Now I have my Ulta 20% off 2000 point redemption haul. So I think I spent maybe like $30 at Ulta. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I'm excited. I'll go ahead and show you what is on my eyes. I picked up the Tarte Man Eater eyeshadow palette. I had been curious about this when it came out originally. And then, I don't know if it was limited edition or what. But they brought it back. They made a few changes. The packaging is like a pleather. I never, nobody ever mentioned that. Which So when I felt it, it was kind of neat. And it has a mirror. And the difference is this shimmery color here originally was a big pan. Now they made it a small pan and added a black. So I think they made good changes. I did put, wear it on my eyes this morning. I followed Lisa at CO9's Get Ready With Me that she did yesterday doing using this palette. And I mixed these two shades through my crease. I mixed these two shades, put it on my lid, mixed these two shades in my outer corner, and I did add this to my brow bone, and then I put this on my inner corner. I did not touch the black. Um, so far, my thoughts on the palette is, okay, if you want something that's all in one, you travel a lot, you're a mom of small kids, and you just don't want a whole lot of fuss in months, you want a palette that has anything you need, and you don't want to be reaching for anything, you keep your makeup in a makeup bag, this is the palette for you. Yeah, I mean, it is a really good palette. But if you have a ton of makeup and you're just like a makeup junkie, then I don't think this palette's going to be mind-blowing for you because you probably already have this stuff. But, if you know, like I said, it's depending on what you want. If you're just wanting to try out some new, you know, crazy palette, then I, I don't know. I mean, I think you may be not let down because it's not a bad palette. That's not what I mean to say. But if you're wanting like a new fun eyeshadow palette, pick up the Anastasia Soft Glam. But if you want something that's just really easy, pretty, good shades. I mean, it has a matte brow bone color. It has a matte black. It has a matte dark brown. It has a matte soft brown. Um, well, like mid brown. A matte soft brown. That peachy shade. A uh, shimmery color, a really light shimmery color, a shimmery darker color. It has everything. It's, I mean, it's a great palette. But anyways, that's my thoughts. Okay, and then I got this perfume. My friend Amy had told me I would really like it. And lo and behold, I found a sample at my mom's. It's the Mon Guerlain perfume. She said it came out last, like, fall or something. Because I just, I, I'd never even heard of it. And I had used the sample and I fell in love. If you, I don't want to say it's a dupe, but there was this Bond New York scent. It was Bond number nine, I Love New York. That I had a sample, a few samples of a while back. And I always plan on picking up the full size and it got discontinued. It kind of reminds me of that. It's like warm, sexy, 
ambery patchouli but like gourmand it's it's nice I mean I think it's a little bit of a wintery type scent but you can definitely pull it off other times of the year as well especially at nighttime so I did get that I'm really excited and then these have been on my wish list for a really long time I just had never got them it's the Peter Thomas Roth Hyaluronic Cloud Hydrogel Eye Patches y'all know me and I love my gel eye patches I did try these out this morning and they're the good thing with the Peter Thomas Roth is you get 30 pairs so while they are expensive that's 30 most of the other packs you only get like five to eight they're like just a true gel and I put them on this morning and they feel nice they feel great I liked them and then when I took them off it was just I mean they felt fine don't get me wrong but I decided to put a little bit of eye cream on and as I was tapping in my eye cream my under eyes felt softer and more hydrated and firm than any other eye gels have ever made them feel. And I use a lot of them. So I have to say I was really impressed with it. They definitely moisturized that area and just made it feel nice and just, I, I could really tell the difference. So I'm happy to have those. Then I picked up another set of the Invisibobbles, but I decided to get the Strong Grip because my hair is pretty heavy. And I have it in my hair today. I got the black shade. These definitely don't have as much stretch as the originals. They're more firm. So, you know, I mean, I like them, but definitely keep that in mind if you try them. And then lastly, I picked up the Shiseido 50 Ultimate Sun Protection Spray for face and body. Okay. I'm not a sunscreen lover. I don't like sunscreen. If I go to the pool and I'm going to be outside all day, yes, I do wear sunscreen. If I'm not, then I just try to rely on the sunscreen in my face makeup, which I know is not good. And I thought something like this may, I haven't had a chance to test it out yet. But I thought, especially like, if I'm going to the park with the kids and I'm still going to be in the shaded area, something like this may kind of I'm getting a phone call that's kind of important. Hold on one second. Hello? Hey, how long? Down here. How long do I think they'll be out there? Yeah. I don't know. Probably under an hour. Um, I'm, I'm going to be late. Like, I'm leaving the neighborhood right now. Oh. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, they'll they'll probably be out there still. Okay. Okay, just let me know. Yeah, when you pull up to the kids museum, you'll it's to the right before you get to the actual museum you should probably see school buses and stuff okay, okay good luck Bye. okay i don't know if i'm gonna leave that in but if you see it sorry hope it didn't bore you um anyways i thought something like this it may lead me to apply it on my body just on the day-to-day -day a little more. I don't know. If not, then I'll save it for the pool, but it, it can't hurt. And then lastly, they there was a giant gift with purchase sample bag that I picked up that day. So I'm really excited to dive in. I actually took out a bunch of stuff and already gave it to my mom, stuff that I'm not going to use. Oh, but this I was going to ask you all about. Um, if you have tried this, it's the Lime Crying Unicorn Hair semi-permanent hair color and it's like a chocolate cherry shade i'm tempted to use it have you used it let me know my hair is like just dark brown and you know i'm not opposed to trying something new but it's a little scary too okay and then i have just a few things that i was going to throw in since we're doing a haul the ulta 21 days of beauty i thought i would show you what i picked up i picked up two things the Urban Decay Primer Potion in Minor Sin. This is a really pretty, just like everyday color. I've worn it a bunch and just put like a bronzer in the crease. It's kind of a rose gold, so I'm happy to have that. And then I got the Murad Anti-Aging Acne Time Release Acne Cleanser. Because Makeup by Tiffany D talks about this a lot, but it's 
so expensive for a face wash. So to get it half off, I was excited to try it. And so far, so good. And then lastly, the brand Biosance. They make the squalene, squalene oil. They're carried at Sephora and maybe Derm Store. I don't remember. But if you go to their website, you can get little sample kits and you just pay $5. And I did two of them. So I had to have two different email addresses. I'm sure most of you probably have more than one. So I got four of the products and I think that was all the ones available. So I got the Squalane Probiotic Gel Face Moisturizer. I thought it would be possibly a good replacement for the Clinique Moisture Surge with cleaner ingredients. The Squalene, Squalene Peptide Eye Gel so far. I've tried it a few times and it's nice. And then the two face oils I haven't tried yet. One is the just 100% Squalene Oil and the Squalene and Vitamin C Rose Oil. I'm really excited to try this. But I had tried a sample of a different sunscreen on my face. The Clinique SPF Mineral one in the yellow and white. Um, anyways. So I like to try very few things that are new things at a time. So I, if I do break out, I know, but I will be trying this next. So anyways, that is all for my spring shopping. I'm done shopping for a while. It's like so much stuff looking at. I feel like I haven't done this kind of a big haul in a while, but like I said, the Ulta stuff was pretty much free except for, you know, $30. So I feel not so bad. So if you have not shopped the sale yet, let me know if you're picking up anything, if you're just replenishing your stuff. If you've already shopped, let me know. Let me know. I'm going to try not to place any more orders, but I can't say I won't for sure. So that is all for now. Bye.